welcome viewers please like, comment and subscribe. Thomas Tuchel has made the extraordinary claim that the Chelsea number 9 is cursed and that none of his players want to touch it. The Blues kick off their season at Everton tonight without any squad member assigned the traditional centre forwards number and with no plans to bring in a new striker to fill the vacancy. Romelu Lukaku, last year's £97.5 million record buy, has been loaned back to Inter Milan after becoming the latest big name to flop in the number 9 shirt, with the Belgian scoring just eight Premier League goals last term. During Roman Abramovich's 19-year reign at Stamford Bridge, the Blues signed seven big-name strikers who wore nine on their backs and all of them bombed. Lukaku, Fernando Torres, Alvaro Morata, Gonzalo Higuain, Radamel Falcao, Hernan Crespo and Mateja Kesman all arrived in West London with glowing reputations, yet all fell foul of the curse which the superstitious German admits he believes in. Boss Tuchel said, it's cursed, it's cursed people tell me it's cursed. It's not the case we are leaving it open for tactical reasons, for players to come in and take it. There was not a big demand for number nine, like when players sometimes want to change numbers. Surprisingly, nobody wants to touch it. Everybody who has been at the club longer than me tells me, ah, you know, he had the nine and he did not score, and he had the nine and also did not score. So we now have a moment where nobody wants to touch the number nine. I'm superstitious, I can understand why players maybe don't touch it and have other preferences. It's like this, but I think Raheem Sterling will help us a lot, and in general it's our responsibility to create more offensive positions, to have maybe more players in the box. While Manchester City and Liverpool have both recruited traditional centre forwards in Erling Haaland and Darwin Nunez, Chelsea have gone in the opposite direction farming out Lukaku and not bringing in a like-for-like -like replacement. Kai Havertz and £47.5 million new recruit Sterling are likely to play as false nines in a more fluid system. Although 20-year-old Albanian forward Armando Broja has returned from a loan at Southampton and may force his way into the starting lineup. Tuchel said, Rahim is one of our offensive players. If we play in the same structure, it will be very fluid. At centre forward, it can be him, Kai, Timo Werner, also Broja who is now in the squad different profiles, different types of playing. Liverpool and City showed it is possible to be very successful with a fluid type of offensive player in the nine position. It's cursed, it's cursed people tell me it's cursed. Tuchel is concentrating on bolstering his defence, with £55 million Mark Ucurella joining from Brighton and Leicester's £85 million rated Wesley Fafana the subject of serious Chelsea interest but the manager admits his preferred wing-back system can prove cautious. He said, I'm generally confident we are able to win games. We manage to score a lot of goals in this system we play, the 3-4-3. The core and strength of the formation is a bit deep with three defenders and two central midfielders. So, from this, it's maybe the responsibility for the three attackers to be a bit higher than in other systems. So we are relying heavily on our wing-backs, and still we think it's a good structure for the characteristics of our players. We will adapt, and we've got new quality with Raheem, which helps. Tuchel says he has suffered a turbulent pre-season, with a more hands-on approach and transfer dealings as new owner Todd Bowley stands in as sporting director. And the German claims his squad is still in transition and that, while Bowley is ambitious, he is also patient. Tuchel says his side have benefited from the wake-up call of a 4-0 pre-season mauling by Arsenal in the United States. And as he prepares for this evening's trip to face Everton and Frank Lampard the Chelsea legend he replaced as boss Tuchel admits he does not want to pile pressure on his players by talking them up as title contenders. He said, my feeling is first of all, a race for top four, and second of all, the title race. It's super challenging this league. And if you are in the title race in March or April, then you go for the title. But you make sure you are in the top four. This is the